I was impressed with that move you pulled. Bang. Gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's me, it's G, it's Double MD, the undefeated, undisputed YouTube champion. That's right, it's the Maverick, Mark Daniels, here with episode 15 of our Pokemon Let's Go Eevee version. Let's play, guys. If you missed last episode, we battled a bunch of trainers on the route in between Future City and Lavender Town. We're not quite done yet. We still have a few more as you can see in front of me here. Uh, we're wrapping things up on this route, then we're going to head back over to Future City and battle the gym leader so that's kind of what our goal is today uh, we've already battled this trainer right here that's kind of where we left off last episode I did go ahead and heal our Pokemon up I'm literally recording this right after last episode I went ahead and healed our Pokemon up and flew all the way back over here on Charizard and speaking of our team let's take a quick team recap here we of course have our Charizard Madra with fire punch brick break wing attack and Ember. we finally got a new fire uh, fire punch we finally got a new fire attack in the form of a fire punch TM, so that was pretty cool. Uh, level 42, of course. Uh, we have Kanon, our shiny war turtle, which I transferred over via Pokemon Go with Bite, Scald, Brick Break, and Withdraw. She's getting there only a little 28. She's 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 in training. We'll get her caught up here eventually. We have Hanio, our Venusaur with Mega Drain, Poison Powder, Razor Leaf, Leech Seed. We have Raichu, Hanamaru Zuda with Thunder Punch, Brick Break, Thunder Wave, Quick Attack, level 39, feeling fine, so divine. We have our shiny Shino, level 40, with Poison Jab, Brick Break, Drill Run, and Pin Missile. And finally, we have Ruby, Gone Badubi, with Glitzy Glow, Sparkly Swirl, Sappy Seed, and Bouncy Bubble, level 41. And that is our squad that we're dealing with today, as as we have been this, almost this entire playthrough. Um, so now we're about to battle this coach trainer. Training on a romantic bridge where you can smell the sea breeze doubles the effects of the training. Alright, let's do some coaching. Are you ready? Well, I'm ready. Let a Pokemon battle begin, yo. Go ahead and put my strap on my wrist here. Strap on. Alright, so, Priya is her name, or Priya. I'm gonna say Priya. She has a Butterfree. Well, let me tell you guys something. Um, when it comes to bread, do you know how I like my bread? Do ya? I'll give you a hint. I like my bread butter free. You get it? <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Just a terrible job. Fire punch, let's go. We're starting things off hot with a fire punch. Get it hot, fire, fire punch. Alright, we're on a roll, baby. Call me butter, I'm on a roll. Butter, butter free Pokemon. Man, we're doing good. Clefable. Uh, we'll bring out Shino, our boy here. Our shiny Beedrill. We're going to poison jab this thing so hard. It's not going to know what Pokemon it is. Alright, so... I just sometimes have to get into the mentality of like a current generation Pokemon game because if you don't know I'm also playing through Pokemon Conquest which is a spin-off game of Pokemon it's more of a tactics kind of like a tactic -y type game it's a lot of fun but it's a gen 5 game so like fairy typings don't exist in that game so I've, I'm constantly fighting like Jigglypuffs and Wigglytuffs and it's like I sometimes have to remind myself this is a normal type Pokemon not a fairy type um, so I had to think about <laughs> if I should switch in or not there a second ago. Sometimes you gotta switch gears in your brain for 5th gen and uh, and I guess 7th gen type games. Alright, so. Such a romantic battle. Here is a token of my gratitude. Dream Eater. Fair enough. Only wants to pull their sleep, but uh, kind of not a great TM, but we'll take it. Alright, so. Cut down this here tree. He's got a mega megaphone mega mega horn electricity is my specialty so I don't know a thing about Pokemon to the sea so he's an electric Pokemon specialist uh, it's a rocker Luca his elective buzz god elective buzz elective buzz is one of my favorites uh, elective fire even more so um, elective fire my top probably top 10 at least Probably close to the top five uh, favorite Pokemon of all time. Love Electivire. In fact, fun fact, and I think I've told this story before in a different uh, Pokemon series, but Elekid was actually my first ever shiny Pokemon um, outside of like gifts, like you know, and online events and stuff like that. Um, I was working on my Pokedex in Pokemon X and Y. 
and I was breeding Pokemon and I was breeding for the Pokedex I needed an Elekid for the Pokedex so I bred I think two Elekids just because like I uh, it was my last one like my last egg to pick up to have a full six so then when I hatched those all those and there's an extra Elekid just because I didn't change the Pokemon out too lazy to do so mainly and uh, one of them, it was really hard to tell because if you don't know, Shiny Elekid's very, it's very hard to tell the difference between Shiny Elekid and Ruby Elekid. So I was looking through my party and all of a sudden I saw a star on one of my Pokemon. I was like, what? That's a Shiny? Oh, I was so excited. And then not even a week later, I hatched a Shiny uh, Froakie. Doing ex I wasn't doing it for Pokedex reasons though. I was hatching for IVs just so I can like have like, you know, perfect IV, you know, Froakie Pokemon. <laughs> Hatch a shiny Froakie. Ooh, a water stone. Unfortunately, it wasn't a Proteon um, Froakie, which was sad. But it was a Froakie nonetheless, and I love him, and he's shiny, and it's a Greninja now. The shiny Greninja is, is amazing. Um, one of my favorite shinies, really. So we have this gentleman here, the cosplayer of Slowpoke. Hey, do you know what catch combos are? I do. If you catch a Pokemon the same species, Pokemon over, you'll have a better chance of meeting a really strong one. Oh, he's not a trainer. Interesting. So, as I mentioned last episode, this house you normally get the Super Rod in. I didn't know I was in this game. Oh, I am, uh, who in the world am I? Ah, it's no use, I can't remember anything. Hmm. Do you think you could tell me who I might be? Probably Move Deleter, right? Could that be? No, no, it just doesn't feel right. Are you Mr. Dazzling? I am Mr. Dazzling? That has such a wonderful ring to it. I'm Mr. Dazzling. You must be right. I'm Mr. Dazzling. Well, you helped me remember, so here. Oh, snap. He gave us Dazzling Gleam. Okay. Wasn't expecting that at all. Alright. So, uh, do we have anyone that can even learn Dazzling Gleam? Let me look at my team here. I don't think so. Raichu, maybe? No, nobody. Okay. Well, that's still cool. Always happy to get a TM. You know, I just got... <laughs> just even though I was kind of uh, disappointed with Dream Eater that we just got. There's Snorlax. What's biting? You never know what you could catch. Is that an STD awareness type of thing or what? Terrible. Andrew. So as I mentioned last episode, we're not going to capture this Snorlax. I'm probably going to save it. We've already caught one Snorlax before, the one uh, before we head down to Fuchsia City. And uh, I'll probably save this one to Shiny uh, Soft Reset and Shiny Hunt at some point. Uh, I should probably just swap. We'll swap in Hanamaru Zuda. But yeah, I'll probably say, I'm going to say this one last because I'm probably going to try and soft reset and shiny it at some point. Um, that'll be something I do off camera, obviously. Maybe do it during, during uh, a live stream or something, but but as far as actually doing it on uh, on an episode, it's not going to happen. It just takes a lot of shiny hunt, especially shiny reset, uh, like soft resetting. But uh, that would be that's something I definitely do in the future. Um, and I thought about doing like shiny hunts uh, live streams, but I don't know if I will. We'll see. We'll see how things go. It probably won't happen for a little while. But I've been wanting to get into live streaming a little bit more often. Um, I was live streaming a little bit, but I need to get a set schedule. And it's just hard for me to have a set schedule because of life, you know. Um, as you guys all, I'm sure, all understand. But I was streaming for for a few weeks in a row. I was streaming almost every day. We we're playing some PUBG. Playing some League of Legends, uh, World of Warcraft. The expansion just came out at that point, so we're playing some some World of Warcraft. Oh man, he knocked out my right shoe. But I've been wanting to get in the live stream on a more consistent basis. Uh, but with me, I record uh, four videos a day normally. Uh, my schedule: I try to do two in the afternoon, two at night. Usually, a different series. Like today, I recorded two episodes of Pokemon Conquest in the afternoon, and then tonight I'm, I just recorded one episode of Pokemon uh, Let's Go. Now I'm doing one as well. Sometimes I do five, sometimes I do six videos. So I have to find a good time to do that, but also have the energy and be able to preserve my voice long enough to do it as well. So it's not an easy task for me to do. Plus, I got to work around, you know, my family schedule, my brother Joey, um, with special needs. Sometimes it's, uh, I have to work around him a little bit, sometimes too. Because sometimes we're just barging in and out, you know, begging for coffee or something. And it's like, Joey, you're ruining, you're ruining my, my stream. Alright, so let's go ahead and fly back to Fuchsia City because we are done on this route. Oh man, no snort. What's wrong? You just want a little 11? A little 11? There we go. There we go. Alright, so we'll use the Sky Dash technique. 
go back to Fuchsia City. So we're done with this route completely. Um, and I think it's time to battle the gym, guys. Um, we're going to probably go to Saffron City after this gym battle. This gym battle shouldn't take that long, I don't think. And uh, we'll go... Uh, let's see... I think we'll go to the Fighting Dojo, if it's there. I'm assuming it is in this game. I could be wrong. We'll go to the Fighting Dojo. And then maybe we'll uh, check out Slifco a little bit. We'll see how things go. Where I taught these guys, right? Yeah, I remember talking to you. I'll probably try to uh, trade, uh, trade him off camera again for uh, the shiny Alolan Pokemon. I flew to the wrong town. I realized. That's why I walked into that, that that house on instinct. I was like, "This is the gym," and I'm like, "Wait, that's not the gym. What am I doing?" All right, Sky Dash. Right, here we go. It's the wrong side of town, boy. very misty in here. Yo, look at the windows, dude. That's fucking cool. I mean, that's freaking cool. Yo, champ in the making. We're the Safari Zone here in Fuchsia City where you can meet tons of different Pokemon. And at the Fuchsia City Gym, we welcome trainers who've met lots of Pokemon. So, I need to see if you've managed to catch at least 50 species of Pokemon. Now, this man just said there's a Safari Zone. Hold up. Oh, it's Koga. Fuhaha, <laughs> startled by my disguise, are you? I shall use my intricate style to confound and destroy you in battles. So he is the gym leader in this game, okay. That's cool. I'm amazed every time I see that he looks just like me, right? Now head on and experience his moves for yourself. So that's cool. Does the smoke like come in and out or yeah it does. Oh that's cool. It's a nice take of the uh the invisible walls in like the original games. So I want to look at these windows real quick. So there's Golbat, Venomoth, Muck, Venomoth and Golbat. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like that. So this man said there was a Safari Zone here. And I, I looked in the city. I did not see a Safari Zone. Don't tell me we missed out on the Safari Zone. Hold on. Because I, wanted, I want to participate in the Safari Zone so freaking bad. Now this is just the Go Complex, right? Yeah, there ain't no Safari Zone. I know there's not. I know there's not. We went here, right? Yeah, we went there. Yo, I know there's no there's no Safari Zone here. Just a call, yeah, yeah. Into the play yard, yeah. yeah. There's no safari zone here, okay. There is none. I know there isn't. I know I'm not missing something. But I had to double check because I enjoy the safari zone. I was really hoping the safari zone would be in this game. There's only been a couple disappointments in this game so far for me. Otherwise, this game has been amazing. One of them. I'm sad that we can't, you know, participate in the game corner, you know, play slots. That was that would have been pretty cool. Stop right there. What do you think about the famed invisible walls of the Future City Gym? I think it's smoke and mirrors. Mostly smoke. But anyways, Phil, huh? But yeah, the things that were disappointing. So, the game corner not being able to use the slot machines to get prizes, and then number two would be the Safari Zone. I think that's pretty much it. Well, maybe fishing. Fishing would have been cool too. But otherwise, this game's been pretty cool. I've really enjoyed this game. And I'm so looking forward to the second one. Where we go to Johto. Or if they were to just... I don't know if it would even be possible, but to make a DLC for this particular game to go to Johto, I would buy that in a heartbeat. I feel like that'd be hard to do. 
But what that means is, like, we would already have Kanto connected to that game, right? So they wouldn't have to make a Johto in a Kanto region for the next one. Like, it would already be done. So I don't know. Part of me thinks that's, it's a possibility. Slash will pass. Slash or pass. We're going we're gonna to pass. Um, Hanayo, level 42. Hanamaru, level 40. Nidorino. More like Nidorino chance to survive in this because we're bringing out Ruby. That rolls right off the tongue. But I'm looking forward to a second one. Um, going to Johto would be really cool. Um, but even more so, I'm more excited for a Generation 8 Pokemon game. You know, this game was great. And I hope they keep um, a lot of the same mechanics. Such as the, uh, the way you see Pokemon in the overworld. I really hope you can do that in the next generation of games as well. I think that's probably one of the coolest things about this game. And being able to shiny hunt through that is so good. So convenient. I've seen so many people all over Twitter, all over Facebook, just shiny hunting. People that you wouldn't see shiny hunt before because it's so much fun in this game. It's so much easier um, to do. It's just time consuming, right? Oh, we're poisoned. Oh, she healed herself. But yeah, I'm, I'm very excited for another one already. I definitely think they should uh, continue making them the let's go games especially with the popularity of pokemon go i mean it's nowhere near as popular as it was when it first came out because like everyone i knew people who never even played pokemon before were out there playing pokemon go. it was crazy but like it's still constantly like number one in the like top grossing charts on google play and stuff um so like it's it's doing very well obviously still pokemon go is they constantly have you know monthly events going on weekly events going on um still pretty popular so making a game that like coincides with that is just it just makes sense, you know. So I do hope they'll make another one soon. Maybe in a couple years. Next year maybe we'll get the uh generation eight game and then maybe the year after that we'll get the Johto Pokemon Let's Go game. Uh but who would you start off with? So in this game obviously you get Pikachu and Eevee, right? Would they stick with that, which I'd be fine with. Or this is toxic, huh? Or do they pick something else? And if they do, what should like what would they pick? That'd be the interesting thing. So like, Pikachu and Eevee are two iconic Pokemon, uh, sp especially Pikachu. Um, very iconic, obviously. Um, we're gonna have to bring out Ruby, I think. Speaking of Eevee, um, Eevee is iconic too, but I don't think it's quite as f like iconic as Pikachu in like the casuals' minds. I don't think a lot of people knew Eevee was. To those who are more casual to the game, but like compared to Pikachu, Pikachu obviously the most iconic Pokemon in Pokemon. But if I were to choose two Pokemon that you would choose from, like you know, you know, the Eevee version, Pikachu version, what would I choose? That's a tough one. I mean, you could do Pikachu and Eevee again, and I'd be fine with that. I think most people would be. But if they wanted to change it up to make it more Johto oriented. Who would they choose? I'm trying to think of two like very iconic Johto. I mean, you could do like two baby Pokemon, like like Pichu and Elekid. <laughs> or you can do Magby and Elekid. Um, but you would have to let them evolve though in that game. I would say you could do uh, two like the exclusive Pokemon, like you could do uh, Gligar and Skarmory. <laughs> That wouldn't really work, would it? Uh, I don't know. Like, Snubble and Meryl? Like, I mean, because they were in the the Pokemon Pikachu Vacation movie. They were the first, like, Johto Pokemon, like, revealed. Was one more revealed in that movie? I think Pichu was in that movie, too, right? Or was Pichu in the next one? But I specifically remember, like, Snubble, Meryl, there was, like, a, a Cubone there. So maybe they could do like Snubble and Meryl. Let me think, what else could they do? For Johto specifically. I mean, granted they could just let you start, you know, pick one of the starter Pokemon to start off with, but with the way they did this game, I don't think they'll do that. Because then you can capture, you know, Cynical, Totodile, Chikorita in the wild. You know, Shiny Chain them and whatnot. Hmm. 
trying to think of who else they would choose. But plus, if they had Kanto too, I mean, Eevee and Pikachu would still make sense. I mean, they could just obviously just keep Eevee and Pikachu the two starter Pokemon, but I don't know. I feel like you would almost want to make it different, though, you know? I was thinking Hound Dower would be a good one. Hound Dower. I just don't know who the other one would be. You know? B drill. We'll swap out. Probably gonna have to go heal after this battle. Maybe. Eh, we could probably do a couple more without healing. Let's see, Hound Dower would be good, and. Hmm. Now, they wouldn't do Larvitar. Houndour and Chinchow. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they do Sentret and uh, and uh, Hutus. I was a magician once upon a time, but I dreamed of becoming a ninja, so I joined this gym. This guy has some interesting, uh, this guy's got, this got to have some interesting stories, I mean, dude was a ninja, then he became, a, or he was a magician, became a ninja. Honor, huh? I guess you do a mischievous and Murkrow version. Pokemon, let's go mischievous version. Pokemon, let's go Murkrow. You know they could they could do Espeon and Umbreon. That's something they can do. Pokemon, let's go Espeon. And Pokemon, let's go Umbreon. That would probably work. Umbreon and Espeon. Kanan grows to level thirty. Shino grows to level 41, and we beat Kirk. I'm done for. Okay. Let's see you beat my special techniques. Go on, Madara. Um, go fire punch. Probably gonna get knocked out by the hunter though. Maybe. Nah, we're, we're good. We're good. Probably gonna heal after this battle. I mean, we'll we'll see how many trainers are left. We're definitely gonna uh, heal up before we battle Koga himself. Goes for sucker punch. I don't think the toss will take us out. So he has three Pokemon total. So hunter goes down. Honor again, huh? Hmm. We'll bring out Ruby. Go for that glitzy glow. I'm starting to get worried and thinking that the Protect might be that TM they give us. And I don't really want that. I wanted Sludge Bomb. Please be Sludge Bomb. So I can give it to Venusaur. Okay, so he's bringing out a Haunter. Another protect. They're all Stallmons. And I'll have Toxic and Protect. Yeah. 
I knew you could do it. Harry, you had me fooled. No, there's another trainer here, huh? There's a couple trainers left. Oof. Master Cook is descended from a family of ninja, a tradition that's lasted for hundreds of years. What did you descend from? That's a good question. So Ivysaur. Hmm. Charizard's poison still, isn't he? Why don't I use a hyper potion? So we'd have to go back just yet. Solar beam, uh oh. Wasn't expecting solar beam at all, to be honest. Let's go for a fire punch. Uh oh, here it comes. Doesn't do a lot, but we're gonna hit that poison as well. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and heal the poison real fast. Goes for another solar beam. Should go learn Sunny Day, my man. Save yourself a little bit of time there. Uh, we'll go for Wing Attack this time. Save those fire punches. So Ivysaur goes down. Weezing. We're going to swap out to Ruby. Let's see glow. So he has sludge. Okay, that gives me hope. That gives me hope that we might be able to get sludge bomb from Kogo. I really hope so. I want to give Venusaur uh, a sludge bomb. So Weezing goes down. You're more skilled than I thought. Well, I've been told that a time or two. Mostly just a time, because right now, that's the only time. I also studied the way of the ninja with Master Koga. Ninja have a long history of using creatures. True. Edgar. Arbok. Let's go for Fire Punch. We're gonna have to heal after this for sure, though. Ah, uh, we just get. A, oh, he glared us. Let's see if we can get a damn burn. Hmm. Goes for Poison Jab. Now we're in trouble. This charge is probably gonna go down here. Bring on Hanamaru. We're gonna go for a quick attack. We got next. Conan grows level thirty-one. Another Arbok. Okay. I think we're gonna go for a Thunder Wave. I think he's going to go for Glare. Poison Jab. Oh, what am I thinking? I don't think Rachu can't be paralyzed, right? We got Poison, though. Oh, 
Why not even really consider Shino? I don't know why I didn't use Shino. We have Drill Run. Oh, next time. And by next time, I mean this time. Look at that shine! Now we just drill run here. And your final Pokemon is... Another Arbok. This man loves his snakes. For one more, it goes for glare. Oof. Goes for slam, and welcome to the slam, and welcome to the chain. And Arbok goes down. So we're gonna go heal up, and we'll come back and face Koga. I wonder if they, do they just sit in here all day, just like, man, I can't wait to watch some battles. That's going to heal up. Alright. It's time for Koga. Disappears on us again. <laughs> oh snap! A mere child like you dares to challenge me. The very idea makes me shiver with mirth. Very well, I shall show you the true terrors of Ninja Master. Opponents can't lay a hand on me as poison brings their deadly doom. Despair as you feel the creeping horror of poison type Pokemon. This man just used a Shadow Clone Jutsu on me. Four Pokemon, huh? Starting off with Weezing. Alright, we'll go for a Fire Punch here. <sighs> These Protects, man, are making me nervous that we're getting Protect. I really hope not. Burn him. Oh no, don't do this. So literally his Pokemon are just Stallmon. Shame. I'm ready though. Oh, it doesn't break the protections. Alright. I don't want to have to swap here, but I think I'm going to have to. Oh, he's got Levitate. What am I doing? Don't do it. Wait, are, are abilities even in this game? I'm sitting here worried about freaking uh, Levitate. No, Ruby! <laughs> Why would you explode? You jerk. Oh, no. I only took half. 
Okay. Moderate goes level 44. Muck. Alright, we'll just stay in. Go for Glitzy Glow. Sludge Bomb. See, that makes me happy. I'm glad to see Sludge Bomb. Goes for Protect again. Alright. Survives the attack. Goes for Sludge Bomb. Okay, we don't get poisoned at least. Didn't go for protect, I kind of expected it. Alright, so Muck goes down. So down to two remaining. Golbat. We'll swap into Hanamaru. Zuda. Man, I wish Crobat was in this game. Thunder Punch. Man, these guys love using Protect. Leech Life. Venomoth, you say? Well, let's bring out Madara. And it is appropriate that Madara will be the Pokemon that finishes off this ninja, Koga. Because Naruto. Fire Punch! Let's go. Ooh. Sludge Bomb. Okay, we might begin Sludge Bomb. I hope so. Should just recover or something? No, okay. I mean, we all speed him anyways, but still. Hanamaru grows to level 41. Hmm, you have proven your worth. Thank you. Here, take a soul badge. Now that you have a soul badge, Pokemon up to level 60 will heed your command if you receive them in a trade. Ah, take this too. No, it's only toxic. Boo. Boo. I want a, sl I want a sludge ball, man. It's alright, we'll take it. So let's go heal up. And then we'll head on to Sephron City. All right. Okay, so what's going on, Eevee? Oh, he's playing with Madara. That's cute. Sky Dash. Let's fly on over to Celadon. Uh, did we we healed right? 
Yeah, we did. I know we did it just like two minutes ago. I'm like blanking out. There's a Jigglypuff. Oh dear, I think I gave the poor guard too many pewter crunchies to eat. They're rather dry if you don't have any tea or anything to wash them down. Oh, that tea you have. It looks awfully tasty. What? I can have a drink? Gee, thanks. Well, if you really want to go to Saffron City, I guess I can let you pass. I'll show this to the guards working on the other guards around the city, too. Okay. So here we are, Saffron City. Ow, you jerk. Watch where you're walking. Let's kind of explore a little bit. Thank you for writing. I hope to see you soon. Hey, don't look at my letter. I was given a PP up the other day as a gift. You know, a lot of powerful moves have really low PP. Maybe I should use this to give one of my... All those moves, da, 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 da. Copycat, he's cute. I actually really likes Cliff Fairy, so I'm going to go show it to her once I catch one. Nice, dude. Good call. I can trade you one if you want. Um, I was trying to read the sign, but I guess I can't. Oh, here we go. Just, just let's do already. No way. Only authorized members are allowed. I was told to let no one else in. How can you say that when we're on the same side? How rude. You deny a beautiful girl what she wants. Move it already. Hey, Jesse, wait for me. I guess she's going to stay over there now. I li my life as a criminal makes me feel so alive. I want to explore the rest of the time before I even think about doing that. Saffron City belongs to Team Rocket. Wait, don't say a word. You wanted this. Oh, we got Psychic, so I guess Sabrina won't give us Psychic. Probably Psy Shock then. Do we have anyone that can learn Psychic? Probably not. Yeah, didn't think so. It's cool though, we'll take it. Pokemon Center, okay. Well, let's talk to the people in the center though. Slifko is widely known to all. It's a victim of its own fame. It attracted Team Rocket. Pokemon's growth rate is different from species to species. Good to know. I'm a huge Raichu fan since we came all the way from Alola. Let's trade your Cantonian Raichu for my Raichu. Not yet. Someday, though. Sigh. Would it be great if the Elite Four came and stopped out, stomped out Team Rocket? Yeah, why aren't they? With Sifco under our control, we can sell Pokemon for profit all around the world. We're stinking rich. Yeehaw! She must have been playing Red Dead Redemption, too. Uh, let's see. We've already been in that house. My daughter likes to mimic people. It's rather vexing. In fact, people now call her the copycat because of her mimicry. Or mimicry. Mimicry? Mimicry. Maybe she'll mellow down a little if you show her a Pokemon she likes. Got some jams or something over there? She's got a switch. Hi, you must like Pokemon. No, not me, I asked you. Pardon? You're weird. Hmm, quick mimicking, but that's my favorite hobby. Oh hey, do you want me to mimic you again? Okay, well, I'm out of here. Here's a Doduo. I, mean, I have a Cliff Fairy. I don't know if Shona will do anything for me. We'll try. We'll try sometime. I mean, I guess I try now. We had the box on us, right? Because they kind of he, they alluded us uh, showing her a Pokemon, and the other kid was talking about Cliff Fairies. So maybe she'll give us something. Uh, Pokemon box. I'll replace Ruby for a second. Yes. 
Oh, wow, real life Clefairy. I've never seen one before. Thank you so much. I'll give you a TM. Oh, so you got substitute. Oh, wow. Okay. That's cool. All right, so let's go ahead and swap out Clefairy back for Ruby. All right. Alright. Pokemon Gym fighting Dojo Cow. Don't you go thinking don't you go thinking you can stand up to us or I'll have to hurt you. The Jenny. Team Rocket, we've been cracking down on them, but they keep coming. How do I get that item over there? Hmm. So this is the fighting dojo, huh? Is that a coach? Yeah, sure, we'll battle you. So we'll take on the dojo, and that's where we'll end the episode after we finish the dojo up. Um, Leona. As far as what Pokemon I'm going to choose, uh, if you had to choose between him and him on chain like you do normally, I assume you can. I believe I'm going to choose him on Lee, because uh, my friend Donnie, who has the game, he'll be picking him on Chan. That way we can trade each other to uh, add him to our Pokedex. Then wing attack on Machoke. Uses Thunder Punch. Interesting. Oh, I wonder if she's going to give us Thunder Punch. That'd be cool. In fact, Charizard might be able to learn Thunder Punch. That'd be good. Kanan grows to level 32. Hanyo to level 43. Electabuzz. Let's go ahead and swap out. We use Shino. We have uh, Drill Run. Look at that shine. Oh, there's only level 32. Wow. Maybe we should have came to Saffron City a lot earlier. Alright, let Electabuzz goes down. I knew you could do it. And Shino grows a little 42. I'm totally defeated. That was such a great match. I want you to have this. Thunder Punch. That means we'll probably get Ice Punch at some point, too. That's cool. Can Charizard learn Thunder Punch? I think he'd be the only one that could. Yeah, team case. He can. Because Raichu already knows it, of course. Yeah, we'll get Thunder Punch. We'll race uh, Ember for it. Now I'm starting to wish we had an Adamant Charizard. <laughs> That's alright, though. I'm going to catch a shiny Charmander eventually, and we'll play Smodera with that. Hiya, I have no fear of anything, though. I shattered boulders for training every day. Black Belt Aaron. Has a Graveler. See, I was expecting <laughs> fighting Pokemon, so Charizard definitely wants to get swapped out here. And we'll swap out for Hanio. Only level 31 though. Eh, yeah. We'll bring out Kanan actually. We'll get some, some Kanan action. She's actually about their level, so. Look at that shine. Oh my god, it looks amazing. Oof, that hurts though. We'll go for Scald. And Graveler goes down. Yow, stubbed fingers. In that case, let's go ahead and swap you to the front of the party for now. I was going to battle you all anyways, but... I was going to battle him, then move over to that side. You're trespassing in our fighting dojo? Let me 
me. Is it really trespassing? Are we not, we're not allowed to be here? Hitoshi has a prime ape. Man, I love Shiny War Turtle. Go for Scald. That's a Karate Chop. Right shot. There's the burn. I was hoping for it. Let's go for a super potion. Karate chop. Go for another, uh, I will say the skulls. We'll go for a brick break. Oof, I give up. Big oof. <laughs> this one's gonna run over here. No, don't battle him yet. Battle me. I hear you good, I won't hold back. Nice sideburns. Hideki has a polywhirl. Uh you could probably win this. We have bite and brick break. Bite, we can possibly get him to flinch if we are faster, we're not faster. Goes for Bubble Beam. I thought it was a critical hit, jeez. Let's go for Brick Break. Lowers our speed, which is fine, because we're already slower anyways. Ooh. Excuse me. All right, brick break again. Probably gonna have to heal up. If they let us uh, heal in between battles, probably won't be able to. Might have to swap out. Or I can heal here. Screw it. Let's go ahead and just use a hyper potion. Brick break again for the finish. So we've seen Graveler, Machoke, and Poliwhirl. All Pokemon that can actually uh, evolve by trade. If Poliwhirl has a King Drop, of course it could be a Politoed. So it's next one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess either Onyx, Scyther, Honor, or Kadabra. I mean, one had a primate though, so it could be anything, really. <laughs> Mike. It's a Machoke. Never mind. I was on the right track, but I didn't think we'd get too much. Uh, no, the, the other Machoke was from uh, that coach trainer. Never mind. That's where we got the uh, Thunder Punch. We're going to go for Scold. Get that burn. Get that burn. Get that, get that, get that burn. Nope, that's fine. Submission. And Scold will finish him off. And Kanan grows to level 33. Bull Beam, we're good on that. I give up. All right, so we beat all the trainers here. Now he's got to battle the uh, the leader here. Let's go ahead and heal up War Turtle with regular potions. Whoops. 
medicine pockets. I am the Karate Master. I am the leader here. You wish to challenge us? Except, expect no mercy. Fwa. So I imagine she says him on lean, him on chain, right? Koichi. Wait, there's one Pokemon, and it's Poliwrath. Huh. Wasn't quite expecting that. Interesting. In that case, we'll swap into... We'll swap into Hanamaru. Goes for submission. Um, let's see. Go for a Thunder Punch. And it's a one-hitter quitter. Throw him in the shitter. Yeah, Arg beaten. Beaten to a pulp. Indeed, I have lost. But I beseech to you, do not take our emblem as your trophy. In return, I'll give you a prize fighting type Pokemon. So here's the moment of truth. Whatever one you like. I wonder if they could be. If, I wonder if we can shiny hunt for these. I'm not going to worry about that, though. We'll go for him only here. Hitmonlee, the kicking Pokemon. When kicking, the sole of its foot turns as hard as a diamond on impact and destroys its enemy. Yeah, stay and train a karate with us. Now, I think I already kicked you guys' butt enough. And with that, guys, that's going to be the end of today's episode. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, I am the Maverick Mark Daniels. Been your foe. Peace and one love. Bang!